All right, you guys, what do you think? We brought the Red Baron here. This is out of Wings of Glory, by the way, just because he's cool to put on a table in case we drew him. <laughs> Guess and what? Hold we on. Did. We did. So, um, interestingly, though, we'll get to that in a minute. There's only two Red Baron uh, markers you can pull up on your chip pull, or I'm sorry, your marker pull. And that's it. Then you have to burn up the other the other markers before you put everything back. So, uh, unfortunately, we already, we we used it literally back to back. I mean, you're doing a blind pull. So, so here we go. Let's start with it. To start off with, the ally has got nine action points this time. Uh, the most you can get is 12. And so we were all up here. So here's, here is what we did. The first thing it is, use two action points to move this, this unit, which is under the suppress marker. He, he wasn't suppressed when I moved him out. But I moved him out into the trenches. That, that took two action points. Um, the MG here fired on a fire attack. And of course, the defender does get something because he's in a trench, but he was suppressed. Well, actually, he had to retreat, right? On no, that he was one. suppressed. He was suppressed. Then, I'm sorry, then this unit fired on this German unit and suppressed them. So this unit and this unit accomplished moving him out of the trenches, causing him to retreat and be suppressed. This game's this game's got a lot of meat to it more than you think. So that's what's happening with the Allies. They also, um, let's see, did the machine gun also um, you shot the machine gun yeah, against this I'm guy. I'm sorry, there it. it is. This machine gun. See, good co-pilot like Nagawa says. So our, my heavy machine gun here, fired here. By the way, we use the dry erase marker because you can on these cards. There was a German unit here, so they eliminated it. So the Allies, the Allies did pretty good. Now, when the German turn comes up, the Germans were able to move these two units, these reserves. They move three spaces each because that, that's what the reserves can do. Remember, our goal is to get all the Allied units into this last row where they cannot be fired upon or attacked. They, they just got to get here. Um, that's how you're going to get your victory points. So what the, what the Germans do is roll your dice here to find out what one of these units is firing back. So we rolled the fire. Um, the Germans fired so at the Allies. It was this one yep. that needed to fire at this one, but he's too far. So it goes to the next closest one, which would have been him. He was, he was in here. the trench. And then he ended up getting... Um, he was caused the retreat. Yeah, caused the retreat. So, so that's where this suppressed German unit here wasn't suppressed when they fired. So this guy was here, and he moved back. He was forced to retreat. Um, and then the Red Baron came out. And so that was, yeah. So in the trenches, he retreated. So we did the pull. We pulled out of the cup. And we drew out the Red Baron. Woo! Which is why we got the Swings of Glory model, because he just looks cool. So then you roll to see which line, you know, you got all these these rows so you roll to find out where the red baron attacks it was this row here so when he swooped into attack he fired and suppressed his own german unit here and suppressed the allies that just got out of the gas they're like man we just got out of the gas area and whoo we could breathe some free air now now we're pinned down we're we're suppressed for right now because the allies cannot Remove that suppression until the end of their turn. Now, the Germans, because they're just tougher, they're going to be able to unsuppress themselves, uh, you know, before we switch over back to the Allies at the end of their turn. The Allies can unsuppress things also, but at the end of their turn, and since you start as the Allies, you're always going to be... If you're suppressed, you're kind You're of always going to be a step behind, but you got to remember, you are trying to move into German-occupied areas, so it's not like you have the advantage... You literally don't. They already hold their ground. So that is round five. And uh, what do you guys think of the model, man? It's cool. And if you don't don't know anything about Wings of Glory, we'll teach you. But there you go.
that's the end of round five. Remember, we're going to start with these guys being unsuppressed, so on the next turn, that's why they won't have the markers there. So my co-pilot Ashley here. Wait, 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 wait. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, use your tweezers. See? Somebody started me in the, in the Hex Encounter stuff, so use this, because these cards slide. <laughs> they do And slide. it's my, my cheesy excuse to use my tweezers, okay? So bear with me. So here we go, going to round six. I'm going to cast a shadow. Are we going? Yep. All right. Round seven. So this is the end of round seven. Uh, it's been a day or two. So let's see here. We ended up rolling and getting, for our action points, this time we rolled double sixes. I should have been at the casino. So right. Got 12 action points. I used them as it's because the allies always start off. So the ally unit that was here assaulted this German unit and won. So they were removed. They lost. And on an assault, you're moved into the square. Same thing with this unit to this. There was a German unit here in the artillery hole. We were in the trenches, so we assaulted them. I mean, you're just going to have to. So they ran down the hole and beat them. We got fortunate and got that one. Our other unit that escaped the gas from the round or two before that was in the trenches, I used action points to assault, and we actually won that. So we rolled well three times in a row. However, that took nine of our 12 action points. Now to move the machine gun crew it takes two and to move into a trench it takes one. So we simply made the, we moved them forward. We moved them forward to be effective. It took the last of our points here. Okay, so that's what the allies did. They assaulted and, and gained three possession or positions and they moved their machine gun crew. Now, on the German turn, German always starts off with bringing in reinforcements that they have available, so that's three. This is a hard, this is hard, you guys. They don't move anywhere, but this is where you bring them in at. Uh, the Germans then, you've got to roll your dice to decide which grid you're going to fight on. So, uh, unfortunately, when we rolled for the Germans, there was no unit available to assault. So, they they yeah, didn't have anything. You got so we never really explained it. So you have eight lines going down, yep. and it starts from two to seven. So it's your sixth spot. So one, two, three, four, five. If there's anyone there, then you shoot. If you don't, nothing happens. And Same thing if they're suppressed. Yes, correct. So when we rolled, there was no one on the line to suppress or to fight. So in that case, the last thing they do is they drew, they we pulled the chip, chip pull type of thing, all right? And we drew artillery. Because the only thing left in there, and I can't see, but I know there's gas in there still. And artillery. In artillery. Yeah, because we ended up pulling both Red Barons at the back to back. More artillery, yeah. We, we did get fortunate, you guys, without staging it. We drew the Red Baron twice. Now, again, the Red Baron can't come into play until all the markers are used. Then you throw them back in. You can throw them in. So, for right now, we have got one, two, three, four artillery... Areas that have been bombarded by the Germans. And which gas. Are holes and gas. They launched a gas attack. So it does affect the terrain. It does affect your assaulting in a terrain. And it does affect your movement in and out of because, well, there are craters now. So that's the end of round seven. Went, went good for the Allies. To win the game, we got to get to this last you gotta row. you got to get six of them over there. But on, at this rate, you guys, I don't know. So we're going to do round eight coming up. So hold on. All right. End of round eight, you guys. Please make sure you have tweezers. These cards are really slick. So um, they're really nicely designed. And the back side of them is awesome. But they move around. So here we go. You can see things have changed from round seven. So this time, you always got to roll your action points. So this time, the allies got 11 action points. Um, and the allies always start the first you know, they go um, first on the round. So, right here, we use the dry erase marker, which you can use, by the way, but I advise you to get a fine tip because it's just going to be easier to mark than a regular dry erase marker. It's too thick. Anyways, this allied unit with the heavy machine gun, which is indicated by the, the white underneath them, they moved from the wire forward and assaulted the Germans in the trench in front of them. They did route them out and destroy them. The next 
that was three action points. So then I took another three action points and took my unit from here that was in the trenches. And this crater that you can see here had the German unit in it. Well, they're in a hole in front of me, so I, I got to get them out of the hole. So assaulting into the artillery crater was, was fun. We won. So we got fortunate. I'm like, wow. Now, here, this unit was here. Okay, this allied unit was here. We assaulted forward and routed the Germans there. We were successful. One, two, three. Craig's like, wow, that's that's pretty good. So that's that's about used up all my points except enough to move this heavy machine gun crew from here through the trenches, which cost you points, into the, the crater, which cost you points. So our last five action points, I moved my machine gun crew through the trenches into the crater because we got to move forward. Yep. The goal is to get to the end. you you got to get to these end lines, right? You're more than halfway done. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a fight, man. This game is pretty damn cool. So, anyways, here you go. Now it's the Germans' turn. So on the Germans, all right, all their reinforcements, which were these, moved up three from the back. You always move them three according to the rules. Yep. All right? The Germans did fire um, on the Allied units here. Which made him retreat. Made him retreat. The next thing they did was launch a gas attack, which you roll for, came down, rolled over, and hit our unit here. <laughs> Gassed our allies and killed them. killed them. Done. They're out of there. So the Germans did do good. So if you see on the board and the gas attack, you can see by this, this green marker. It stays. Okay, it, it stays. So you have to move around them. You don't want to go into the gas unless, well, you're just suicidal. But anyways, so you see the artillery, 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 gas, gas. And the machine gun called artillery. In the Red Baron. The Allies are, are just, they're being hindered greatly advancing forward. They're not, uh, they're not running through the Germans by any means. So now the Germans then, the la you know, one of the things they do in the last is reinforcements here and here. So... You can see where, even though allies have cleared them out of trenches, cleared them out of our artillery help. They just keep coming. And cleared them out of barbed wire. Uh, we have to get to this end line, or we're we're not going to win the game. So, well, it might not be too much longer. They have, what, two reinforcements left? Yeah, so the so, good thing is the Germans, on your, on your I'm going to take the markers off, I know where they go. So on the back of this, can you see it, Ash? I can't see, yep. is it focused? So I'll have her hold it up. So... On the back there is your action points and how many reserves you have. It serves a dual purpose, okay? Um, and so the Germans now are, what, down to two. two. Uh, the Allies have four reinforcements. Actually, there are only one available because that one just got gassed. And then your orange always shows you what you roll. And if you roll bad, your action points bind you up. This little game is worth it. By the way, see this, this World War One mug? When I was done and I had to clear it off to do something else for our other broadcast, the whole game fit yeah, in. Yeah, I say the whole game fit in. The whole there. game fit in the mug. So look at it that way. All right. So I'm sorry. Shake the light. We're going to go to round nine and then uh, we'll see what happens, you guys. So please bear with us and leave some comments and share this. Likes, those things help move it around. I'd like other people to see this. This is a cool little pocket tin World War One game mm -hmm. that's unique. Um, not like everything else all of our other channels do. And so it's just this I think people should know about. So I'll leave it with that. We're going to go to round nine. And the camera lady is going to do it. All right. End of round nine. Lots of stuff going on. Now, before I do this, um, we're going to put this video up. And I want you guys to let me know. We'll do round ten. But I want you to let me know. Do you want me to continue doing that or do you want me to just play it through and give you an end result? Because when I'm done, I am, whichever way it goes, I'm going to be doing my thoughts on this. So in the comments, if you guys would be kind enough, let us know. Hey, we want to see it played to the end or do you want us to just give you the end result? Because you have up to 30 turns in this game. So by the time this video is over, that'll be 10. Plus I'll know if you've listened because we're in round 9. So if you've listened, you'll know you'll know how to comment, which I appreciate. And that also lets me know you guys are 
Yeah, so watch our dog came in. Our dog came in. Let me shut the door. So, here's what happened at the end of round nine. Okay? We only ruled eight action points. I like the fact there's this little marker to let you know. So, again, with that, we got to be kind of critical. So, um, our unit here in the crater fired upon this German unit out here in the barbed wire. So, they actually assaulted them, and during the course of the assault, because assaults work different than firing on, they're both suppressed. So, a standstill. Um, it's different with a fire attack. So, my... Um, up here, I had a unit, an allied unit, attack, assault the Germans. We just were going to go for it, so we assaulted them. Guess what? The Germans defeated the allied unit that was here. They're dead. They're gone. So what's left in place is a, is a machine gun, right? Heavy machine gun in the crater. It's not going to move unless another unit going forward picks it up. So Germans won that one. Um... Uh, Let's see, so the, the MG stays where it's at. Now the next thing I did was I moved this little unit here because we got to get forward. The last of my action points, we moved in three spaces forward. So we're, we're trying to advance. Uh, the Germans are starting to fight back pretty hard. Now on the German side, of course, they move all their reinforcements forward. This one, they happen to end up in the windmill, which is cool. Now you cannot move any crew with the machine gun into the windmills, but you can move them into the windmills as long as there's no machine gun. Um, the unit that uh, fired ended up being this one firing on the allied unit with the machine gun and suppressed them. So that's just how the dice rolled. Then the Germans launched an artillery attack. Right here is where it landed. It had no effect. So now you've got a crater with a heavy machine gun crew uh, right here. That's suppressed. Now you see why I'm using <laughs> these tweezers. So they're in a hole going, oh my God, we're being shot at. And, you know, artillery is coming down on us like rain. And that's kind of where that ended. I mean, the Allies, you have to have somebody killed off to bring a reinforcement in. So we we can bring some in, but... Yeah, it's going to cost us a point, it's though. It's going to cost us when we do it next round. So that's where that's at. you got artillery, 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 gas, gas, and the Red Baron. So these units have been through a lot. They really haven't beaten through the German line. I mean, the, because the Germans can reinforce, uh, and they're... They're just better in the trench warfare anyways. It's just working against the Allies on this particular one. So, anyways, you let us know. We're going to bring you around 10, but let, let me know in the comments. Hey, Greg, play it all the way through. We want to watch play-by-play -play like you've been doing, or just let us know what the final outcome was, because, I mean, I'll honestly play the game through to the end round, and then I can I can say what's going on if you want. But either way, I'd like to give you my thoughts after this uh, about this game. And I would like your opinions, too, on the next the video after this one. All right, so here we go. We're going to go to round 10, and then that'll be it. So hang in there. Hold on, hold on. Keep watching. Welcome back to the show into round 10. A whole bunch of stuff happened here. So on our roll... Um, well, we didn't do very good. No, we got, uh, what, we got seven? seven. Seven action points to deal with. So, what did we do? We unsuspended uh, our unit that was suspended. Uh, we brought in one reinforcement here for one AP. That's this guy here. We brought him in. That took us an action point. So, I only left us six to work with. So, our MG crew. The bottom one. Down here, where you see there's a German. This crew here, this assaulted the windmill. It failed me. Guess what? They fell and died. We lost our unit. The The Germans got rid of them. So, um, the next one we did was, they died. Our MG crew 
which is right here, was up here. We assaulted the German unit that was here. We did have success, and we moved forward. This is why I need Ashley as a co-pilot. This game really, you better make notes, man, so you can keep going. Uh, so, wow. They, they did make their move. They assaulted. They got all the way up here. They kept their heavy machine gun. We are... We are struggling as allies, boy. We've lost a machine gun crew there. Uh, and that gun sitting in a crater from the round before. And we lost that machine we gun. We lost this one. The Germans got it. Uh, they killed our unit off. At so, one point we had all three. Yeah. So the Germans now, they did pretty good too. So they, of course, they get to unsuppress their units. They moved all their reinforcements forward. Yep. Um... So they move forward to all three. They can't go past this line. Now, um, these guys ended up moving. There was a group that ended up moving forward three into the gas. So, Well, where the gas is. Where the gas is, you know, because that's they have to move three. So they did. The gas was in these trenches. When they got in the trenches and the gas hits them, then you got to roll like an attack on them. So they died. So they, the Germans advanced, got into the, their own gas attack, and, and perished. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, and they also did get a reinforcement, which ended all of their other reinforcements. Yeah. So they do not get no more. So this is the last German reinforcement that was able to come in. They did call in, well, you pulled your chip pull, right? Because I'm just calling it a chip pull because that's what it is. It's a marker pull. So they have no more reinforcements. They pulled, they launched, and you roll for where it goes. And guess what? They gassed the, our unit back here, and that unit is now suppressed. Um, so really, what's happened is, look at after, this is 10 rounds. The Germans are just, they're holding strong. They really are. And our one group that has advanced, the heavy machine gun crew, they're going to have to face these guys. There's just because they got a machine gun doesn't mean they're going to win. Nope. Obviously. And you don't know if they're going to be jumped on or not uh, by artillery or gas because we have to keep pulling. So, this is the end of round 10. The Germans are really entrenched. Uh, it's going to be a fight between these two here. And these two predominantly are going to make a difference because... The victory conditions, I'm sorry, they're on one of these cards. Oh, I think it's this one. Uh, this one. Is it? Okay. So the victory condition on this is major defeat for the Allies if we get no units back here. If we get one to two units in this last row, it's still a defeat, just minor. If we can get three to four units, it's a minor victory. Five to six units, it's a major victory. If seven units, you win the war. Well, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we're going to get seven units in there. Well, if you can destroy all five of those six, no, five so, Germans, you might be able to because they can't call reinforcements in. They can't call the artilleries in because I believe that's what's all left. I don't know what's left in there. Artilleries. Artillery. Okay, so, so now when we blind pull, it's just going to be artillery. Yeah, because it's all straight artillery. There's only so many gas attacks. The gas is going to stay, though. The craters stay. Like I said before, it alters the terrain for the Allies going forward and for the Germans if they actually have to retreat, you know, go forward to go work around it. The Germans are always coming forward. So, again, that's it. No more reinforcements. This is the last guy. If I can eliminate him next turn, well, great. But I'm so I'm hoping still, for a six on the next roll. Yeah. So here we go, you guys. This is it. We're going to post this video, but please leave me comments. Do you want to see me play through? You have a total of 30 turns. This is 10. Yep. Do you want to see a play by play? Uh, if not, I will honestly play the game forward and give you an ending round, let you know who won, what's what. Because I'm also going to do, regardless, on the last video, I'm going to give you my thoughts, what I think about the game, and where there could be some improvements and whatnot. But it's a very in-depth little game. It's, it's well worth the money. So you guys let me know, okay? That's after 10 rounds. This is good. But I'm going to tell you, this would be great for travel, but you best have... Some kind of little some tweezers. tweezers. I think they make little... 
We um, have little ones. Yeah, but these, you could buy these. These yeah, work just fine. Cheap. They fit just right. And because the cards are too slick, they slide around. And by the way, the map is the one that comes in the paperwork set up. You, you can, uh, you know, after this, you can shuffle it. So the map will change. So don't think for one second that the game's not going to change on you because these cards all get shuffled. You, yeah, you can do this however you want. It'll come out. Well, it's not even however you want, Ashley. It's you shuffle it. It's however it comes out. So it's going to change. It won't never be the same terrain twice for the most part. So, all right, that's round, end of round 10. Uh, we're going to post this. Again, let me know. Don't forget our 4 p.m. show on Sundays, okay? Our Gamer Therapy like it, share it, comment. We need that, you guys, and we appreciate the support. So back to the trenches. We'll see you later.